Hey there tech fans, Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'd like to help you better understand the many benefits of an audio extractor and why you may need to use a product like this with your own media gear. Now around me I have a typical media setup. Over here I've got an older home stereo that can only accept an analog input as well as a digital soundbar that can accept an HDMI input and an optical SP diff. Over here I have an older monitor and a media player right here that has an HDMI output. Now normally you would connect the media player directly to your monitor, you could enjoy the content on that monitor, and you'd listen to the audio through the speakers inside that monitor. If I decided I'd like to pass that audio along to a higher quality sound system, I would have to have the proper connections on the back of the monitor to actually make the connection to my amplifiers, whether that be analog or digital. The challenge is, I don't have an analog output on this monitor, which means I can't use it with my older stereo, and I also don't have an HDMI audio output, which means I can only use an optical SP diff, and those may not be the preferred connection methods. And that's exactly where an audio extraction unit comes into play. This product is sort of the Swiss army knife of analog and digital connections, and it sits between your media player and your display device, and as that media content passes through the audio extractor, it can actually strip the audio component from that media and pass that along and convert it if needed, but pass it along to an analog connection, a digital connection through HDMI, or digital connection through optical SP diff. And it does that automatically. And the best part is it outputs all three of those at the same time. So between my media player and my display, I have this audio extraction unit, which allows me to make an analog connection to my older stereo and a digital connection to my soundbar. Another advantage of an audio extractor like this is that it can enhance the audio as well. So you can enhance the audio to be two channel, 5.1, 7.1, or even Dolby Atmos. The more sophisticated ones also support HDMI ARC and HDMI EARC. So if you've got a soundbar like this that can accept an HDMI input through either ARC or EARC, you can make the connection from here. Now this particular unit has a single HDMI input on the back, which connects up to the media player, and it's got two HDMI outputs on it. One will connect directly to your monitor to pass the video and audio information through. The second HDMI connection would go to a soundbar that had that HDMI ARC connection. And what's nice about that is that the ARC, the audio return channel, now allows me to control all of the audio that I'm playing from any device connected to this monitor through a single remote control. So it really simplifies your wiring connections between your media equipment and your display devices. Another advantage here is that most of the audio extraction units on the market have a really sophisticated EDID switch setting that you can actually accommodate a wide range of different media content on the front end and either down res that if necessary for older monitors or keep it at the same resolution, either 4K, 8K, 1080p, whatever it happens to be in its native resolution. So an audio extraction unit, again, is really like the Swiss army knife of accommodating different audio styles, which allows you to continue to use your older equipment and incorporate newer equipment as you expand your media equipment. It also allows you to upgrade your monitor without worrying about what type of audio connections are on the back of it, because all the audio connections between your media gear and your display are done through the audio extraction unit. It's an incredibly simple product to use and provides a tremendous amount of functionality. Now, if you decide that an HDMI audio extractor would be helpful in expanding the audio connection options for your media setup, there are a few important things to consider. The first has to do with resolution. Any product you're considering should be able to fully support 4K ultra high definition media content at 60 frames per second because even though you may not be viewing that higher resolution content today, that will ensure that as you upgrade your media equipment or your displays later on, that the product will still be compatible. Another important consideration is the audio output options the product provides. You'll want to be sure that the audio extractor provides at least an analog output, a digital optical SP diff output, and a digital HDMI output to give you the widest range of connection options for any type of audio equipment you decide to use. Another important consideration is the HDMI certification. You'll want to be sure the product is at least HDMI 2.0 compliant because there are a lot of advanced functionalities that are built into the latest version of HDMI that you'll want to take advantage of. The HDCP certification is important as well. The product should be at least HDCP 2.2 because that controls copy protection and knowing you've got the latest version of HDCP supported on the product means you can play a wider range of media content. The final consideration has to do with the ARC and EARC certification. 
Audio standards nowadays have evolved and ARC and EARC are pretty common on most of the newer soundbars and digital sound systems, so finding a product that supports ARC and EARC will make that connection incredibly easy. So I hope you found this helpful, and until next time, thanks again for watching.